Hello. Hey there, everybody. How are you guys doing today? How are you guys doing? Uh, just let me know as soon as you can that uh, you can see and hear me, and we'll start. Actually, let's start already. And we will see. Oh, hold on, the cables. Where were we last time? I think we just finished. Uh, we tried to bust out uh, Detective Jowd, and then he got caught, out, or caught outside. Uh, and that's it. Now we need to go find Lynn, I guess, in the park or something. I don't remember. Oh no, in the <laughs> somehow Lynn has managed. <laughs> Sorry, not to get herself killed this time somehow. Uh, but she's in trouble, so we're gonna help her at the Justice Minister's office. Who I think already, who I think we already met, but I don't remember what his voice was. Uh, so let's see. Uh, now that my assignment to stop the execution has it had ended in such an unsat unsatisfactory way, I decide to go see Lynn at the Justice Minister's office. Detective Jowd's story about this other murder weighs on me heavily. Should I tell Lynn about it? I just don't know. What is she doing? This time, Lynn isn't dead, but the atmosphere makes me think it might be too soon to count my blessings just yet. Okay, so let's see what's going on with Lynn. I'm glad Lynn isn't dead. But what in the world is she doing? And again, do I really want to know? So I gotta go find a. Oh, again, somebody is dead? Oh my god. So she got somebody else killed, but who? Uh, telephone, flag, I can flop. Let's start by talking to her. Uh, remember, we can change the voices anytime. You can suggest me new voices if you guys want. Anybody even here? Uh, Silent Gecko? Anybody's tits? Anybody stuck around? Eek! What kind of reading is that? I mean, I know I'm a ghost and everything, but... Well, and... How did it go? Was Detective Jowd still alive? He'd already been executed by the time I got there. I did manage to save him, but... Oh, cool. Hey, Gecko. You did? Oh, I'm so glad. Okay, that's cool, tits. Wait a minute, did you say butt? Interesting, Gecko. Any highlights? I told Lynn about my adventure at the prison. About that other murder, though. Couldn't bring myself to tell her. Inspector Cabanella arrested Detective Jowd? I can't believe it! Yeah, I feel the same way. Hey, Jode, right, right on time, man. Just out a couple minutes ago, like three minutes ago. Uh, I'm doing, I'm doing pretty well, man. Party hard last night. Had a great time. All better today. Like, no hangover, no nothing. I'm doing really good. How about you, my man? Yeah, I feel the same way. I can't believe that wherever I go, somebody's always dead. Either you or someone else. Sorry about that. So, who is that lying on the floor there? Oh, you noticed him, did- oh. Oh, you noticed him, did you? That's just the gen justice minister. The man who signed the order to carry out Detective Jowd's execution. He was already dead when I got here. Should you have called for help in that case? Mm, I guess so. But I wanted, remember, for murder? I was hoping we could save him without without me getting caught. We? Eh? Oh boy. Okay, so let's save the Justice Minister, I guess. You're gonna need a voice for him, though. He's probably gonna say something, so, uh, you guys think of, uh... I, we did him once, but I don't remember what he was. I think it was British and old? I'm not sure, though. Uh, anyway, either, I don't know, accent, impersonation, stereotype, whatever.
Really? That's that's pretty funny. Uh, that's. Hey, can you hear me? Hmm. That's that. That might be a sign. Uh, bats. I don't know. He's dead, but he still seems to be unconscious. Could you rescue him now while he's still unconscious? Instead of talking to him, I bet it'll just be fast. I bet it'll be faster to just see for yourself what really happened. Yeah, I bet you're right. Thoughts on Dust Boot. Oh man, what a great movie! I didn't see the like the full five-hour thing. I saw like the the theatrical release, I think, which is like what three hours. It was great. It was really, really, really great. I was just about to play Metal Gear Solid, but I got no. Oh, cool. Well, Joe, you know that I I also like publish them. I schedule them in advance. You can always know like when I'm about to start if you want to. Uh, but it's cool. I'm glad you glad you chose uh. Just to watch the stream. That's all. That that'll be fun. Thanks. Did you see Fanny and Alexander? No, I did not. Actually, uh, I should, but I haven't yet. Didn't have a good enough reason. Uh, back we go then to four minutes before his death. Oh, it's five hours. I thought it was like only I don't know around two. Really. Interesting. Oh, right, he, he sees, yeah, he's with the other girl. Wait, so what voice do we have for him? When we get to see his, uh, his face, I'll, uh, I'll try and do something. What? All right. I'll... I'll do as you say. This is, this, so that's quite a phone call we got there. Oh, this is terrible. Old man grave voice? What's a grave voice? A nice little depressed old man. I'll try. If you got a reference for a character or something, I'd love to get it. I don't see answer. Arrgh. Why? I don't get why uh, this movie takes so much uh, CPU power. A deep voice? A deep voice? Uh, I'll try. If you got an idea for reference, that would be the best though. What's up with him though? Is he having a heart attack? Medicine. Oh, so he needs his medicine. Huh. Interesting. I was about to say Alex. Interesting, that's. Water! Yeah, he's dying of, uh, I don't know, a heart attack or something? So he needs his pills and he needs water. I can, I can right now. It's the first time we're just uh, watching how it happens so we know what to do accordingly. Such a foolish man. Oh, you woke up? He's a contradiction. Contradiction? The more we search for the truth, the further into a dilemma we fall. In the world of men is steeped in a con the world of men is steeped in contradictions. If we choose this, we can't have that. If a man tries to have his medicine bottle and water pitcher too, he loses both. Oh, I don't know. To me, it looks like you could have had both of those things just now. He didn't know the truth about the world. That's why he died. Such a foolish man. Or maybe I should say a pathetic man. That's a more fitting word. Uh, I don't think this guy gets it. Yet. That the foolish and pathetic man is him. Is that what they call a contradiction? He can hear what I think, though. By the way, what's your name? Just call me a, a seeker of truth. Sidestepped that one, didn't he? 
Okay, now we're going back. And we'll see if we can get him his pills and, uh, and water. Okay, oh, we need to listen to the phone. First, first things first. So it's him. Emma! No, excuse me. Oh, it's her. I know, again, we, we didn't, that wasn't her voice last time, but I got kind of a Russian vibe from her right now. Like being a secret, um... Uh, okay, KGB agent or something. Forgive me for calling so late, Mr. Minister. <laughs> Who is this? How'd you get this number? Drillhard girl, exactly. We have your daughter. Who is this? Emily's tutor? Oh, there is a tie in. In your request. Yeah, I know, it's a, it's a three way tie right now. I hope it'll be, uh. I hope, I hope more people will vote uh, by the time I finish this game. Why is she blue? Well, didn't we say last time she had a uh, silver overdose or something? That's that's a thing. Somebody put a... Oh, Japan sees white people. No, because this dude is white. Uh, the Justice Minister. So, uh, I don't know. Somebody posted a picture of someone who's had uh, like uh, silver poisoning and they just turned blue. Like bluish gray. She's like the bad people from the one show about the Proud Family. Sure, whatever. I'll take that, uh, back country. Emily's tutor. Would you call... Would the tutor call you at this hour? Oh, what turn is that, Bats? No. You'll see it one more time. We have your daughter. What?! My daughter, is she alright? Tell me she's alright. A Gary, I could be. Here for yourself. Papa, help! Help! Oh, I'm gonna be killed! Well, what do you want? What are your demands? Yeah, exactly, Gecko. I believe we already made the demand known the other day. Exactly. So there's she's, so she's a person with a Garia. Oh, so, so it was you. And have you complied? Has the execution been carried out? I, I, I didn't do it because of your demand. I, I did it because that's my job. Yes, yes, of course. They should be contacting me any minute now with the confirmation. There's no need for this kidnapping. We're very thorough. You do well to remember it yet. Nice. Hey, Snora, by the way. Oh. And of course, it goes without saying. We're watching you. If this information leaves that room, you'll never see your daughter again. I trust you understand that. Don't tell the police, is that it? Exactly. All you have to do is your job. Uh, not yet, Alex, but, uh, not yet, Storm, but thanks. Uh, for now I'll stick, uh, I'll stick with my name. Alright, I'll do as you say. Don't want to confuse people too much. Uh, but thanks. Well, I'll make sure the execution is carried out tonight. You have my word. Um, I think I'll stay here for now. Yeah, because I gotta save him. There's nothing I can do. Actually, we can go there, gather some clues, and then, uh, and then we'll go back and save him. So let's try. Hey, McTrap City! It's good to have you back, man. It's great to have you back. Thanks for coming. Trace complete. So let's see what we, let's see what uh, we can gather from here. Apparently, the police in, the police in this country aren't so easily fooled. I had no idea of tonight's deal had leaked. Word of tonight's deal. How are you doing today, uh, McTrap City? How's your David? Papa, he Papa, help! Oh, I'm going. Uh, I can't do a, a 
I hate you, Mama! Luckily, I managed to arrive to arrange it so that the Justice Minister could hear her voice. For some reason, I can't do a child, like a girl, British accent. I'll work on that. But what's taking the good so long to arrive? I'm starting to get concerned. Okay, so she doesn't really have her, that's good to know. I can tell him that later. Oh. Maybe I can't do shit. Is she gonna move soon? Uh oh. This woman doesn't show any signs of moving from that spot. I can't use the telephone line either. It looks like I fell into a trap. All women are like traps. Hmm. Quite a revelation here about this guy. Oh, some are sweet traps, some others are bitter. Don't you understand that? Okay. Anyway, I think I'd better rethink things here. Okay, so that's it, right? She's not moving, and yeah. Let's go back to the past. Uh, some are sweet traps, backcountry. Yeah, well, some of them are sweet, some of them are bitter. They're all traps, though, apparently. No need to think too hard about this one. All I have to get is his medicine... is to get his medicine to him. Pretty simple. But there's one more thing that concerns me. What was that telephone call the Justice Minister got all about? It was right after that... that that his health took an instant downturn. <laughs> I've never been... I've never seen such a foolish, pathetic, and strange man. Uh, I think I'd better stop there. Okay, let's get the phone again. That's the same, right? Emma? Caught in a trap? What kind of trap, though? Forgive me for calling so late. That's, that's what we did, right? Yeah, okay, we just did that. So we can skip it. So they uh, trick him into thinking uh, they got his daughter. Oh, that's cool, like Trap City. Don't don't worry. Okay, so they wanted him to sign, and they wanted him to move up the ex execution to the middle of the night instead of the morning. Uh, but we prevented that. Uh, so we'll stay. And now we're, we'll have to try and get him his medicine. If we can. Oh, this is terrible. A kidnapping, eh? Once again, I'm not sure I know what that word means. It's apparently the cause of the minister's attack. You're such a useless man. Huh? A useless man caught up in a useless case. Why doesn't he understand that? Anyway, we only have four minutes here. Better do something about that medicine. Oh, he's gonna say something. Wait, what do we have? We got the water pitcher, the flag, and the medicine bottle. We better examine that. I have to call my wife! I have to see if this is true! Maybe they called the wrong person. This minister doesn't accept the truth easily. Oh, hey, Morthane. What's up? She's morally bankrupt. Thoughts on Ratatouille? I actually only seen Ratatouille not too long ago. It was... It was kind of cute, I guess, but pretty meh. In my opinion. Oh, wait for your turn, uh, Mori. Okay, now you're taking it too far. Yeah, Alex died, and that's the way uh, to pay respects. His wife won't answer for some reason. Hmm, a wife who doesn't answer her phone? I think I know who that is. A morally bankrupt man deserves a morally bankrupt wife. There we go. Press left to pay respects. Why doesn't that man understand that? No, I'm sorry I ever brought this guy along. No, it's good, actually. It's for the best. This medicine stops the minister's attacks, eh? If I could, it spill them in onto his desk right now. But unfortunately, I can't even open the cap. Uh, what a 
shan't be excused for a man. Huh? He wears his important looking uniform and sits working at his stately desk. Really? Ratatouille is your favorite Pixar movie, gentlemen? I've, I, I like, it's, it's like one of, definitely not one of my top. I like some Pixar movies way more than that. Uh, stately desk. But what does he have inside? Nothing. A miserable man. Shabby excuse for a man. I think you've already said quite enough. Okay. Better save, by the way, because that last, um... Uh, the cutscene at the beginning, I don't think, I don't know if my computer can, uh... Can do that again. Okay, so let's go back now. Let's see what, what's going on in his phone right now. He said he's calling his wife, right? Well, I guess not. Let's examine the water then. If only he could at least drink some of this water. Only Chan Kenobi? My favorite Pixar movie? I don't know, I'll have to look at the list. Uh, to be sure. But, I don't know, you know, like stuff like Toy Story comes up? Like, way more of a classic than uh, Pixar. And I didn't, I didn't see uh, Inside Out yet, but from what I hear, it's supposed to be better than Ratatouille too. <coughs> if only he could at least drink some of this water. Too bad he knocks this picture to the floor at the end of, the, out of, of his four minutes. Such a stupid man. Huh? Once water is spilled, there's no getting it back. And knowing this full well, why do people still spill water pitchers? I don't know. Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. So what's he doing right now? Inception? Yeah, fucking hilarious. So she's not answering. Why doesn't she answer? Ah! Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. A heart attack. Here it goes. Should I flap the flag just because I can, maybe? Oh, that's it? Just a small little... Nah, I can't reach anything with that. Demonstrates how powerful dreams can be. I guess that's true. I didn't know there was a planes. Uh-oh, here it comes. His worry and anxiety have reached their peak. Such a disgraceful man. Huh? If one lives his life in fits, he's bound to be plagued by fits. Nolan had a dream. Oh, come on. Nolan is an amazing director. Give the man credit. It's so simple. Why doesn't he understand? But there wasn't a chance to rescue him before now. It's not over yet, though. I can't give up now. Well, he's gonna try to reach the pills. My medicine! I can't. Oh! Awesome. Awesome, uh, McTrapsity. Good to have you back. Okay, now what? Swing! Raise arm! Uh, I'll, I'll raise the arm, and then I'll swing? I don't know, I'll try swinging. Let's see if it swings it back to him. Nope. Is that? Just have to get this medicine to the minister. But, hmm, there are only a few seconds left. It isn't enough time. Such a so short-sighted man. Huh? Happiness escapes us just as we are about to put it to pull it in. We have to grab it while we can. Not only happiness, but dreams, love, and hope. Two. Clearly, someone here is overly naive. Anyway, there isn't enough time to do anything at this state. I think I better rethink this from the beginning. If you could just get some of that water, he might feel a little better. My day, my day is pretty great. Just came back from seeing Deadpool. Uh, it's not the best movie ever, but it's it's pretty good. Definitely worth a watch in cinema. Um, 
worth of the price of popcorn and, uh, and a ticket. It was pretty great. So yeah, I'm having a pretty good day, all in all, gotta say. Did you just say something constructive? Okay, I guess we'll go back. And we'll see what I can do. Fuck me, Raptor! F fuck you! Raptor Alex. Is Deadpool better than the game? Uh, I don't know, it's kind of hard to say, Alex. They're, they're like really amazing, great moments in Deadpool, and really shitty... <coughs> and they're like really, really shitty, lame parts. Uh, but I'd say that most... In the end, overall, I'll give it like a 7 out of 10. Okay, uh, let's see what I can do now. Let's try and get... Maybe I can make him... Do something with a water pitcher. I can, get, I can get over there somehow. Just keep flapping. Yes, Ra Raptor, I can't understand if you love the movie or hated it. Like, if you think if a 7 is way too... It's at least a 9? No, it's not, dude. It's really not. There are really shitty, stupid parts, and there are tons of awesome stuff, but some really shitty, stupid parts. Like, I mean, come on, he doesn't want to go back to his wife because he's ugly now? After, like, they had this amazing relationship where they're basically the same person, and they're having the most crazy sex, so now she won't like him because he's ugly. Right. That was fucking retarded. And some other stuff, too, in my opinion. Okay, let's see about the, the water pitcher now. Okay, wait, 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 hold on, I gotta focus for this. He's gonna try to freeze the medicine. Gone. Reach for the water. Come on. Nothing, there's nothing I can do. So he's dead. I'm gonna go back again. Well, it's what I said isn't isn't a spoiler, uh, tits. It's in the trailer. I'll try through the medicine again. See what we can do. No, uh, Snorlax. The thing is, the whole origin story was just bullshit. What I really wanted. I can... What, I tried going... Hold on. No, there's... No, I can't do anything with this, right? No, documents are nothing. Is the humor in the movie similar? Some of it, yeah. It's, it, it is, the movie is, the humor is really great. Like, it's a, it's a great comedy film. Uh, no, not yet, McFab City. I wanna try and figure it out on my own. Okay. Now, I'm gonna try and do something here. Raise the arm very quickly. Then let's see what I got to do here. Turn the hanging basket, I can rock this. I can undo the frame hanger. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff I can do basically. I'll try and rock it maybe? Maybe that, that might be enough actually. Let's give this a try. Ah, not enough. Uh, what about if I'll undo this? Can't reach it. Shit. What if it falls down over there? I have to retry this. Dude, Nolan and Deadpool and the Deadpool movie are completely different, like, movies. Like, Nolan never tried to do anything similar to Deadpool. I didn't say that, Snorfax. I said he was, a, he was a good director, and he is. Okay, I'm gonna try over there again. Let's see. Not just the Batman movies, Alex. Memento, yeah. Yes, no, that's no facts. Throw me away. 
Let's see what I can do with this now. Alright, raise it. Raise it. Dude, Memento is a great movie. It's really a great movie. Okay, let's see what happens. What fell down? What, what was that? That was completely useless. Interstellar? I didn't see Interstellar. Judgment says he likes Interstellar, but I never got a chance to see it actually. Wait, 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 wait. What if I do this? Will it reach that? No, it's nothing. <laughs> Wanted was shit. Wanted was pure shit, in my opinion. Maybe if I do something with the wire hanger, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Like medicine bottle, nothing with these. Okay, I don't think there's anything I could do here. Down, maybe lower it. Okay. Drops the glass. Honestly, don't think there's anything I can do there besides wait by the, the medicine. <clears throat> anyway, anyway, Deadpool. Like I know. The, the thing I wanted the most from Deadpool was to see Deadpool 2. Because if it if it was just like uh, Deadpool being Deadpool for like five years and not for two months, it uh, would have been awesome. But just like him on an adventure. Because the whole back like backstory, origin story was just shit. It was really bad. And I can't wait for uh, Cable. Did you guys see the, the after credit scene where he said the Cable's going to be in the next one? It's going to be awesome. Yeah, I can't do that, right? Can use the telephone's line right now. Okay, okay, we got it. I honestly don't think I have a choice here, unless I flap the flag, just constantly, just non-stop flapping of the flag. I don't think that will work though. What is that, Raptor? Yeah, you know more than exactly. Like people, people can j just Google it. Besides, people like the Fla like characters like the Flash, Superman. They don't need uh, another origin story every time. People know who they are, and people can Google Deadpool too. It's not that hard. Again, let's try this. One combination that I've not tried yet. Think. First I'll take this down, and now maybe I'll make it drop or something. No, ah, oh, damn it! I want to swing it. How does it not reach it? I just don't get it. It's one hell of a puzzle, especially while I'm all fired up on Deadpool. It's really got my. Uh, Okay. Hard to stay confused. Hard to stay uh, focused. Dude, shut up, Raptor. Yeah, I literally like dedicated four years of my life to studying cinema. You can't say it's not for me. It's too late now. Why do they make Game of Thrones TV series? Yeah, because it's shit. It's absolute shit. And like everybody can see that. It's really bad. And it's getting worse all the time. Especially compared to the books. Like if you haven't read the books, don't even talk to me. Like Snorfax can talk to me about it, but you can't, Raptor. I never said that. I never said the Walking Dead and Harry Potter, Raptor, so fuck off. Burning your soul? If it's that bad. I don't know, am I close to it, uh, McTrap City? Am I in the general area of it, or am I like 
really far off and not even in the direction. That can help me, if you'll tell me. No what? No... That did nothing. Lower the arm and then... Is it gonna hit the arm now or something? Look what he tries to do after he dropped the medicine. I'm not close. Okay. So I know that's not even the area. That's good. Look what he tries to do after he drops the medicine. Okay. Dude, uh, Snorfax, it's just like the first season was really good. Each season after that was a little bit worse because they were going further and further away from the, the books. And the first season they were the closest, that's why it was the best. Single good thing that came out of television. Shit ton of stuff. Yeah, The Wire. Best best show ever. <clears throat> okay, what does he try to do? I think he tries to reach for the... I'm just gonna be next to the flat because that's the only thing I can do here anyway. Just flapping away. Okay, he tries to reach it. Medicine. He knocks it away. What then? Just flapping. He tries to reach the ceiling or. Oh, 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 oh. No. He dropped the phone. Is he calling someone? Can I dial? I don't think so. And should I flap now and maybe cause it not to fall? Yes! Yeah, okay. I didn't think that would work, but okay. Uh, no, I was saying I wasn't talking about The Walking Dead. I never watched the... I didn't read the comics and I didn't watch the series really, so I can't really... don't really have what to say about that. Dude, Countdown? Wasn't that a, a Brit... a British thing only? Though? Raptor, I, I don't think like people outside, outside the kid really know about Countdown. And me. There, that should help. At least now he's had some water. He's still breathing, apparently, but he looks far from recovered, unfortunately. An idiot abroad was great. It was pretty good. Such a wishy-washy man. <clears throat> huh? He can't make up his mind whether to live or die. That's how he lives his life. Okay. At least now I bought some time to get his medicine to him. Abortion and Zombies? That's the series? Okay, let's see what we can do now. Uh, absolutely fuck all. Absolutely fuck all. Uh, I can dial the phone, I can examine the water pitcher. Am I the present? No, I'm not. The minister's fate has changed. The situation still seems the same. I can't move anywhere now. Did I miss something? I think I saw a path just for a second while the minister was drinking the water. Maybe you should start over from the beginning. Really? From the beginning? Alright. Okay, let's stick with the water pitcher or something while he, uh... Okay, let's get to the flag, be ready, and then I'll go into the water pitcher as soon as I can. Too few zombie attractions in the series? Well, that's probably budgetary reasons, I'm assuming. I may have called the walking living. Well, again, I never heard of, I never read the comic, so I can't really tell. I did play the video game, though, the first uh, season of the video game, which was great. Grab the water. Okay. I'll stick with the water pitcher, maybe that'll help me. Come on. There we go. Okay, that's my path.
There, that should help. At least now he's had some water. He's still breathing, apparently. <clears throat> Looks far from recovered, unfortunately. Such a wishy-washy man. Why are you confused at this game, Raptor? It's pretty simple, actually. Huh? He can't make up his mind whether... Oh, we did this. Well, I don't know either of those uh, back countries, so that's why I'm not helping. Uh, Jodwin, now they're talking about The Walking Dead. There we go. Okay. Now we can start with Ote. Okay, Ote. Okay, time for the next step. Am I dying repeatedly? No, I'm playing a ghost. Oh, Carl Dreyer. Oh, Carl Dreyer or Murnau. I thought you were talking about, like, um, characters from The Walking Dead, so I didn't really read into it. Dreyer or Murnau. I gotta say, I don't have a really big... Um, no, I don't have a really big preference between the two, because I don't, haven't seen many movies of each, but I really like Joan of Arc, so I'm gonna say Dreyer. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to save the guy from dying, and I'm trying to find the path to do it. I'm already dead Raptor, and my path is I can take, like, people recently died and go back four minutes into the past to save them, uh, from dying. And that's what I keep doing here. I just keep fucking it up, so I gotta redo it each time. Uh, okay, time for the next step. Now, about this medicine bottle. If the minister is going to make a full recovery, I have to deliver this thing to him. But how is a ghost with no hands or feet supposed to do that? I guess I'll just have to use my head instead. Yeah, it's a great game, Raptor. Highly recommended. Okay, so there's this. Now what exactly is going on here? Start by undoing this. This game, Quantum Leap. I didn't see Quantum Leap, so I don't really know. Now, what do I want to do? Can't do anything with this frame hanger. I can reach the other one right now. It seems like I need it to fall on the sword. It's either on the sword or push that vase. And I'm not sure which. Well, Snow Facts, I think it has much less text than 999, for instance. I think 999 has much more uh, text. What to do? Okay, what happens if I drop this vase? Apparently nothing. I'm gonna try and put it on... Uh... It makes sense. If they let me turn it... It makes sense. What happens if I just turn it a lot? Nothing. This part is kinda hard. Well, I guess I got nothing to do but uh, try, so I might as well. Oh no, I got some, some kind of gut feeling uh, for the sword, so I'm gonna try that. Now maybe that gives me something? I don't know. Maybe if I lower the arm... Giving up on trying what? What are you talking about? beginning of Ghost Trick is very long compared to 99. I, don't, I didn't feel so. 99 felt uh, much longer to me. David Swish. That was so close. The swing just had a little more reach to it. I think I'd better look for something else. What else could there be? Can do anything with document, not with that. Oh, I can reach this! I thought I couldn't reach the curtain. My bad. Oh, there we go. Curtain. They're basically the same setup. Let's see what happens with that. Uh, with the sword up there. I can spin the globe. It's a pretty light frame for its size. There are a lot of things that can fall down in this room. Yeah, see, Jodman agrees with me. 
Uh, that could be backcountry. And also, I did voices. Like, it didn't uh, just skim through the, the text. I actually, like, read everything aloud. He's a fallen man. Huh? He deserves to have everything come tumbling down on his head. I don't know about the fallen man, but I think you... I think... But you talk about him like he's your fall guy. I guess the key is what order the objects are dropping in. I guess. Um, did, did you just say that it's screwed? I can spin or I can turn it. What happens if I spin it? Oh, it falls down here too. I can make bow. Oh, actually, I have an idea. Mm, that looks really good. If only that medicine bottle was under that swing. I bet it would be flying, but to the wrong side of the room. I think I'm starting to form a plan here. I got an idea, hold on. I'm starting to get an idea. Oh, till dusk. Uh, it's on. It's actually on my requested games, Snorfax. If you want me to play it, uh, you can vote for it. I'll come on here. Go, let me start by the. Go, let me start by the the curtain there already. Anyways, Norfax, uh, you can vote for me to play the game uh, earlier, rather than later, if you want me to. It's on my... you don't have to uh, make an account or anything, it's on my Twitch. Well, the Lusk is really good. Did you request that too, Jodman, or uh, did someone else request it? Okay, let's praise it. And cra oh, of course you Who put that there? I think it was more thing that put it there. I have an idea now. Bear with me here. What in here? It was really loud. The iron is a lot heavier than it looks. It's made of some pretty thick iron. I won't want to drop down my foot. I don't have feet, so I guess I don't have to worry. Anyway, yeah, you can vote for that, or you can suggest uh, new games too. Same goes for everybody here, if you want me to play a game, or if you want to vote for a game so I can play it sooner rather than later, that's where you do it. Uh, there's a link on my Twitch page, you don't need an account or uh, in Twitch or anything, it's a, it's a link to a, to a poll. Okay, now we'll see if this works. Oh, thanks Alex! That's exactly the link. Thank you, Alex. Gonna try, gonna try this now. Okay, now. This shine is pretty light. Once the urn is dropped, there's no getting it back. Guess I better think carefully about what I drop and when. Okay, I wanna try this now. Let's see. When it falls on those, what happens? Oh, I see now. I'm starting to see. I can roll the globe. Okay, okay, I know exactly what to do now. Now I got it completely. Okay. Actually, I'm still waiting on my uh, uh, USB controller. Uh, Alex, oh Alex, uh, backcountry. So uh, we'll see. When, uh, first of all, we'll see where's where the number one game, votes wise, and uh, we'll see if my uh, controller is here by that time. I'd love to have. Uh, I'd love to start doing a you know a 2D, 3D kind of thing though. Like uh, I mean, in the order. Like once I play a. Uh, a 2D game like this with voices and text. I want to play a 3D platform or something, or action adventure game like uh, Deadpool or uh, or uh, or Sly uh, Raccoon or what was that one I played? Uh, ben and Ed, Ben and Dead, Dead and Ed, something like that. One turn, yeah, that's what I want. One turn it. Spin. Okay, 
this might be taking a bit too long, actually. To do this quickly. What about odd? What is that? I never heard of that. Uh, back country, so whatever. Okay, now I need this to fall down. Now I need to make this fall. Nope, not that. Oh, right, yeah. Okay, perfect. Now I need to go back and around. All the way over here. Yeah, it is a, uh, just a bit annoying. Praise it. Oh no, I did that wrong! Oh, I did it. I did it wrong again. God damn it. What did I do wrong? I need to drop the... Okay, okay. Got the other one. God damn it. Okay, I'll be less focused on chat now too, so I can do this quicker. Okie doke. Skip this. Skip this. Okay. Now, the only thing I do here... I can spin it, I guess. I can turn this if I really want to. And then I move over here. And do this. Steps. Make this fall. Now, make this fall. Now, this, I think. I hope so. Yes, okay, perfect. Now I got it. Uh, what book is that? That country. Yeah, and what's what's fuck huge? How many pages? How big are the the drawings, the pictures? Also matters. Yes. Oh, finally. I woke up. Remember my medicine. Okay, yeah, that that's that's a uh, fuck huge. I gotta admit. There, the minister finally took his medicine. I think maybe even took too much medicine. Such a greedy man. Huh? He's supposed to take two capsules with water. Why doesn't he know that? Aw, oh, cut the guy some slack. There, see? Okay, fate averted. So what's the new present then? She shows up when he's alive? Phew, that was a lot of work. Well, hopefully there's taught him a lesson. Huh? He greatly underestimated his dependence on his medicine. Oh, that was his voice? Cool, so it works, I guess. I hope you learned something from this experience. First, know yourself. 
That is the key to everything. I think you need to listen to your own advice. Anyway, let's get back to the world of the present. It's amazing that he doesn't like care that he's like part of the ghost world or whatever. Just like keeps commenting on that old man. And so the Justice Minister is now back to life. But the furrows on his brow are even deeper now. And apparently our lady detective is in the present cause is the present cause of those furrows. Look, detective. He was sentenced after a fair trial, and the man himself wants to be executed. But there was no evidence! All they had was his own confession! But it was no ordinary confession. It was the confession of an esteemed detective. STAY BACK! I told you I don't want anybody coming near me! Mr. Minister, please listen to me! I might be able to gather new evidence in that case tonight! <gasps> what? So please, please, just give me a little more time! I just got a call from the prison. Your death row convict apparently just escaped. <gasps> Unfortunately, after all this time, it seems he now wants to dodge his punishment. B but When he's apprehended, his sentence will be carried out. Tonight. But he just got apprehended. No. No. But when the sentence was handed down, you were against enforcing the death penalty. <laughs> so why did you sign the order all of a sudden? Well, well I, uh, I was simply performing my duty as Justice Minister. That's all there is to it. Alright, time to trick someone. Then looks like she's about to rip into the Justice Minister. I think she's forgotten all about me. I think I'll send her a little signal. Uh, I think I can do here, really. Uh, swing it, maybe? Cecil, there you are. Sounds like the minister is being very stubborn. That's right, he is. Maybe we shouldn't have saved him after all. The minister has to have the execution carried out tonight. He has a very good reason for it. A good reason? I told Lynn about what it, I told Lynn about what I learned about the kidnapping. But we also learned that they didn't actually kidnap him. K kidnapping? They kidnapped the justice minister's daughter? Apparently, no, we know that they didn't. Come on, game. Oh my goodness. Crazy ass bitch talking to an old armor. Yeah, Joe. But still. That's still no reason to hurry forward with the execution. Why don't you go ahead and say that to the Justice Minister then? Mm, the poor man. I hate to do that to him. Oh, by the way. Do you think you could carry me? Right, sure. And not very handy, is it? Having no legs? <laughs> wow. Looks like she's th threatening him somehow. What are you going to do with that globe? Or crack me in the head with it? Oh, this? <laughs> uh, pay no attention to this. It's kind of hard not to pay attention to it. By the way, please pardon me if this is a silly question. Were you talking to somebody just now? Well, of course not, right? I mean, there's no such thing uh, as ghosts, right? Are you talking about me? Rawr! No, th there's no such thing. This is a dream. It's nothing but a dream. Don't you remember me? 
Oh, my dream is talking to me! So now I'm a dream, eh? Just tell him something for the dream so we know that uh, it's actually him. Mr. Minister? Yeah, well, he is too. Uh, Gecko. We know. We know about your daughter. She was kidnapped, wasn't she? And if the execution doesn't take place tonight, you won't see her again. Yeah. Yeah. What is hard again? Your medicine, your medicine. Grah. Grah. What's a Nija, uh, Gecko? Oh, what am I going to do? The death row prisoner has escaped if he isn't executed tonight. My daughter, my, my Emily. Yeah, Ninja. But what if the execution isn't the right thing to do? No! Come on, Lin. If you keep pressing him like that, he's gonna die again. What can I do then? It's time to trick them. Let's show them some ghost tricks. I have to do something about that kidnapping. Until we do that, it'll be impossible to get the minister on our side. That's the way I see it. I think I'll start by getting info on the kidnapping. And the only way I know how. Let's get the phone. Can we talk to him? I guess there's no sense in talking to him right now. Let's just go to the... No. But we were here already. Come on. Oh, whatever. Are you going to go later than usual? Just going to make it... Uh, I think it's going to be two hours this time. Silent. Uh, two hours, but I'm, I'm going to change the schedule because some, something changed for me. I'm going to stream tomorrow too. And tomorrow I might be going, I might be able to go for three hours. I don't think I can do more than three though because usually that's when my throat gives out. Uh, so I'll be streaming tomorrow even though the schedule doesn't say that right now. And I might be canceling my stream from for Wednesday because something changed for me. We'll see. I really should pay the kidnapper's hideout a visit. After all, if we want the Justice Minister to come around, we have to solve his problem first. I feel like I'm slowly moving away from my own mystery, but I'm not the kind of guy who can abandon a little lady in trouble. So I guess I'm in this for a little, for a little while longer. Yeah, sure, we'll see. And we'll continue. It's like an hour left. Oh damn, it's already midnight. We're like at the middle of the game, at least. If not more. The Justice Minister's daughter has been abducted. The kidnappers demand the execution of the death row prisoner Zhao to be carried out tonight. Lin says the ex execution is a mistake, and I believe her. Also, and so I'm paying the kidnappers hideout a visit. See what I can find out about the abduction. What took you so long? And yeah, what game? Uh, depends. You can actually vote on that uh, Silent Ninja. Uh, on my Twitch page, there's a link to uh, Backcountry. Also posted uh, on Safe City Heroes earlier. Uh, there's a link to vote for, uh, you can either suggest me games, or you can vote for what game I'm going to play next from the suggested games. Uh, so right now it's a three-way tie, so I don't know, but you can break that tie if you want. Oh, someone vote for Hotel Dusk? Then quite possibly. Anyway, yeah, you can choose. Your instinct was right, beauty, my dear. Yes, on my Twitch page, but you don't need, it's not on Twitch, like you don't need to, to have an account on Twitch or log in. Or anything. They had that restaurant surrounded. It took me forever to shake them. And now my poor bike is ready for the scrap heap. Oh, hi, Sir Matt. Uh, maybe the real trick was the friends we met along the way. Maybe the true trick was right under our noses the whole time. You're right, Sir Matt. Never, never looked at it that way. Thank you for your wisdom. Next time, maybe you should make it a tricycle, 
so you don't hurt yourself. Ouch, that hurts. Oh, hey, Silent Ninja. What's that volume mentioned? Uh, sir, man, if you look uh, beneath the stream window in, the, uh, in all that text, there's uh, something called Requested Games. You can look uh, in there and uh, you can click the link there and either request games for me to play or vote for what games I'm gonna play next out of the requested games. So just look around, there's a, there's a link down there. Ouch, that hurts, beauty. But that's okay. That's what I love about you. Okay. Be a little more gentle with our valuable hostage, please. Oh, so that's what's in the suitcase. Okay. It's trying to make sense. Yes, yes. Yeah, I uh, 999 was the game before last I played. Last game was this one, before that I did 999. So yeah, sorry Sir Matt, but you can check it out. Uh, if you, I did voices too and stuff. If you want, you can check it out. Uh, I think there may be a couple left on my Twitch page, but if not, they're all on, on my YouTube. Uh, the link is also on my Twitch uh, profile, so you can look around there and uh, watch it if you want, if you're enjoying this. Yes, yes. Always keep a smile on the lady's face, right, my dear? There. See that beauty? Now there's a smile blooming on your face too, my dear. Yes, a very smile. You tie the vote up? Well, hopefully uh, someone will break the tie by the time I finish this game. Or I'm gonna have to choose whatever I feel like it. I'm going out for a brisk breath of fresh air. You're on guard duty. Alright, I'll dream of you until you return. Why don't you open the trunk for our guest? I will, beauty. I was just taking a little breather. All right, little lady, let me open the trunk for you. Well, why well, you fell asleep? Beauty. Looks like the Justice Minister's daughter has really has been kidnapped, and something else is bothering me too. I don't think I've ever been to this room before, but something about it is driving me str is giving me a strange sense of deja vu. I've seen something like this before. But if what if we were their partner when we were alive? We're uh, evil, and now we're good. Taking something precious to manipulate others, so that's what kidnapping is. Uh, kind of the dirty tricks of those without the powers of the dead come up with. However, if I take that precious thing back, the power vanishes, doesn't it? I'm going to end up the tie. Oh, I thought you already voted, uh, Jode. Now then. Time to see how the Justice Minister's, Minister's little girl is doing. What if she's dead? What if she suffocated inside of the suitcase and died? It will be so dark. Before this guy wakes up from his dream of beauty. So over here, let's see how can I move. Open the door, get on the floor. Burn brighter, swing the decorations. Let's see. What happens if we burn brighter? Oh, let's, we're gonna burn that. Oh boy. Oh, that's gonna, that might be a problem. Oh, so now that one can swing too. That's pretty good. What if I open this? Nothing. Whenever I possess a, do a door like this, for some reason I get the urge to send something flying with it. These ghost tricks are kind of addictive. Okay, so I guess we can all we'll just swing it. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, you should spin faster. Hmm. 
that's the house. I'm not spinning faster anymore. Let's see what we can get here now. Ball. Let's toss the ball. Oop. A ball that rolls off a table. I've already seen something like this once already tonight. I wonder if this ball does anything? You want to vote for Resident Evil? Well, you can, Jode. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I made the, the um, I made the poll like multiple options that you can choose any any number of games you want me to play sooner, not just one. If that's not the case. Let me know because I'll try to fix it. And that goes over there. Okay. Let's see what that gives me now. What's that? Move the scones. Rock the shelf. It's down there. I want to get to know all of my options. I, oh, I can get the crate. Darn. Hmm? What, she's dead? I can't reach my destination from here. Oh, I can reach the ball. Reach this. Wow, this is... Okay, there's a lot of stuff to do here. Okay, let's just try to reach over there, and then we'll see what... Can I lower this? What happens if I do this? This is one of those things you light fire with, isn't it? As long as there's light in the in the room, is something like this really necessary? I guess not. If something can be lit, it kind of makes me want to light it. I need another core to reach to the trunk and open it. I wonder if I can create a new core. How will I go about that, I wonder? Okay, I'll do some more. So obviously this has to be like this. What if I rock this? Nothing right now. The shelf is suspended by very thin cords. Look like they're about to break. But it'd be quite a spectacle if it fell. If something can break, it kind of it makes me want to break it. Okay. Let's see. Okay, there's something about those fire things and all that. Maybe I, can, I need to make the ball. No, wait, what happens if I spend this? Oh, it goes up. Hmm. That's pretty much it. Guessing I can't roll the ball right here. No. It's all great. the cake box. I want to try and fire these right now. Oh, interesting. So I made a path when he woke up. Just my imagination. Just my imagination. That's all he has to say. What an amazingly simple fellow. This room, on the other hand, is starting to look amazingly festive. The question is, how can I use it to my advantage? Okay, oh, so that's one. What happens if I spin it now? Very interesting, and I it's... oh no. That would be tied up, but it's not. What if I fire this one? Interesting. Oh, just my imagination. Just my yeah, well. 
if he was any more laid back, he'd fall right off that crate. But look at that streamer go spinning around and around. Now, how can I make use of that? Let's see. Oh, I can't use that. Probably something with this. It's got to like, get stuck on that. Wait, what's this? Oh, the ball. Probably gotta get stuck on it or something somehow. Nothing? Damn it. I can't use that thing spinning, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like that. Maybe I need... Okay, I got an idea, actually. Maybe I need to make that thing spin faster. The... What's it called? I forgot. Let's have a look. Spin faster, and now what? I can do something with this. Wait, I want to have a look around. I can swing this too for some reason. I can make this burn brighter. I try this. Can I? Do I have control over doing this? Now spin this. Maybe it'll burn. No, that's really not enough. So if I could maybe make the the spinny thing uh, burn. Doesn't work that way. Okay, so what can I do over here? Tricky, I gotta say. Suggestions are welcome if anyone has any, but not the answer if anyone already played this game. Something with a cake box I probably need to use. We screwed up? No, the game would have told me if I screwed up. Nothing I can do with a balance. I can't control. It's a cutscene while I. Yeah. Yeah, I can't change the position or anything. Maybe the, the scones needs to be straight for it to work. For whatever it's supposed to work. This is the doll that I don't know how to work with. Oh, hold on. That thing has... Is that TNT or something? What's going on? That's odd. This again. Oh, McTrap City, you're still here. That's cool. That's awesome. Nope. Oh, you only have answers? Well, I'm not at that point yet. If I need to. Though, if I need to restart, let me know because the game isn't telling me because so I'm trying to work with what I got right now. Kinda got a feeling like I should have shot the ball now and not earlier. Okay, let's think. What do I have here? I can't reach there. This does nothing. Something with this. Hold on, I got an idea. No. Oh, oh, but you're still watching. Okay. Okay, that, that's that's actually good to know, McTrap City. I mean, it's it's fun for me to know that you're still watching. So, thanks. I think maybe something with a fire. Archie, was that a reference to me? Because I can't read that anyway. I can't read what that thing is. Are you still mad because I called uh, Deadpool? 7 out of 10? Well, that's what it is. I'm sorry, man. Any other place I can... No, there isn't another phone in here. So, no. Any chance I can make this... Like, burn and then do something with that? 
I need to make this thing burn, I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. There's nothing. Just burn brighter, even brighter, man. Oh, I can't. Now these two don't work either, right? What if this spins faster? That's interesting. Hold on. I got an idea. What if I burn this brighter? And then I spin it faster. Maybe it'll reach the fire that way? Huh? Could it be? Yes! I got it, yes! Yes! Perfect. Okay, I figured it out. Oh, so proud of myself. Okay, so now that I have fire there... Okay, I know exactly what to do now. Or at least pretty much what to do. Doll, she's got a light. Let's take this up. So what was the, the thing with the ball? Like, how did that help me? The ball being there. Maybe it knocked something off and I didn't notice. Perfect. Applying the extreme movement of a flame wouldn't extinguish it? Oh, uh, you don't know. Um, Gecko might actually, like, you know, because of the, there's more oxygen, might actually work better. Like, it might uh, fan the flame and make it grow. And now it's gonna fall. He wakes up. Just my imagination. Okay, going back down. You can reach it from over here. Yes. And finally. Is she alive? Oh yeah, she is. Okay. Oh nice. Very nice little lady. I'm gonna need a voice for her. Probably. Uh, so ideas are welcome because I don't think we voiced her yet. What the? What's going on here? This little lady is. Oh, it's Camilla? What's she doing here? Oh, they probably got confused. What was Camilla's voice last time? I don't remember. Is this little lady really a daughter of the Justice Minister? Uh, that's cool, Sal Ninja. Oh, you're not talking. You're talking about this game or about? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, it's all good. Uh, oh, thanks, Ninja. Uh, is this little lady really? Oh, it's cool, son. I love having you here, no matter what. She was trying. Yeah, that's what I think. She just got caught up in this. Just my imagination. Oh. Shit, she can't escape though, because she's back. Stuttering anime girl voice? Could be. I could do that now, if you want, even though it's a bit like, uh... Yeah, I think she was like a better girl. Like the most better girl I could do. Uh, it's a bit close to, to what, uh... To Lin's voice right now, but we can do it. What's with the fun book and juice? Yeah, she was in the briefcase. Gecko, somehow still alive. Like I said, always keep a smile on a lady's face. I wanted to treat our guest well. How oh, about treating me well? I'd like some bread and milk, please. Bread and milk? You know she's Russian. At your service, my dear. Be back in a flash. Hey, mister. Yes, cute little lady. You can suggest a different voice for her if you guys want. How do you fit women in briefcase? Uh, brute force, I think? I don't know. 
more juice, perhaps? All you have to do is ask. Have I been kidnapped? Don't cry, little dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. The surroundings are miserable and filthy, I know. But we just ask for a little patience. D don't see the awful things about this house. <laughs> this house is where I used to live. What? Use the same voice you use for Clover? Okay, I can do that. Uh, that's a screechy voice, though. It's gonna be funny. I apologize, little lady. I'm the one who's miserable and filthy. Forgive me. Dun-dun-dun. What's the meaning of this, beauty? Why here, at this girl's old house? Don't ask me. It was the other party in our deal who chose this location. Oh. Oh, I see. Which might be me, the other party. It's been empty for five years, and apparently nobody ever comes o comes here. But never mind that. What about my bread and milk? Oh, oh, of course. Now you be a good girl while I'm gone. You just thread your book and drink. You just read your book and drink your juice. I want to go home. That's sort of. I'm, I'll take me over. I'll sure want to remember exactly what, what was your voice. Not quite yet. This dilapidated place was Camilla's old house. Oh, I don't want to be deaf. Okay, I'll go back to the stuttering anime girl. What's going on here? Okay, so, can I talk to her? But what in the world? Why does the little lady have a core in of the dead? When I helped her out at Lynn's apartment, she didn't have one. So that must mean... She must have died sometime after that. And it also means... Somebody else must have saved her. Unless we inadvertently saved her when we were at the chicken kitchen. Maybe. I'd better ask her what happened. Examine the book or talk to her. Who's there? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Is that you, Missile? M missile? I'm sorry, I'm not Missile. My name's Cecil. We'll be lucky enough to get the Lemon's gu Lemon Guy's Wish for Adventure Time. I actually never, I didn't watch Adventure Time. I, I remember watching on YouTube one time the Lemon Guy's voice. Uh, I, I could, like, uh, send me a reference and I'll do, uh, and I'll try and do, and I'll try to impersonate it. Missile is the best? Uh, well, it could be Missile next time we see him. Or some new character, if there will be one. Sissel? My name is Camilla. Camilla? So it is her. I knew it. What happened to me? What is this place? I can hardly tell the poor little thing that this is the land of the dead. The, the land of the dead? D does that mean I'm dead? Darn, I forgot there are no secrets in the ghost world. You can relax, you're not dead. But this isn't the first time we've been here, apparently. Really? Uh, I don't remember. Wait a minute. Maybe I do remember. Sort of. You do? Looks like she doesn't remember being saved very well. So there's some other dead person out there with special powers, eh? Could be the lamp. Uh, the picture lamp. Anyway, I don't want to press her if she doesn't remember anything. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about something else? Sure. Go ahead, sissy. Sissy, eh? Ahem. <clears throat> Lynn asked me to do something for her tonight. I know about that part. She asked you to go to the chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? Yeah, but I never got there. Now, I wish I could say I'm sorry to her. 
I never should have gone through that park. What park? The Thameslick Park. It's a shortcut to Dead End Drive. Is that where the kidnappers grabbed you? Yeah, Linton always said. I don't like the park. Scary things happen there. Well, we know Lynn was kidnapped in that park, uh, like, a couple years, like ten years ago, right? Temsuk Park, eh? What am I going to do? Lynn's going to be mad. She is? How come? Because I left it there. The music box in the park. That's right, the music box. The music box was hidden in the apartment. I finally found it, with a little bit of luck and courage. And we helped you. Guess where it was? Mm, I don't know. Where? I'll pretend I don't know. You know? You don't have to humor me. Oops. So what happened to the music box? I hid it in the bushes at the park j just before it happened. Why'd you hide it? Oh, just before... Oh, just before you were kidnapped, huh? Uh, I didn't want the, the bad man to, to take it, so I hid it. It's still there in the park. I bet it's still there in the park. You did well. So the music box is in the park. I better let Lynn know. Is this your old... This is your old house? Yep. This is where we lived until five years ago. But now I live with Lynn and Missile. What is that, McCrap City? I can't open that right now. Oh, it's for, uh... It's for, uh, what is his name? Uh, Lemon, the Lemon Guy? Okay, what character, though? Anything of a character? It could be Missile. Could be another character. A new one, maybe. Lynn is like a big sister to you, isn't she? Yep, she's a detective, you know? She's a hero. She is, huh? By the way, about your father... <gasps> is he the Justice Minister? My father is... gone. Gone? Maybe he passed away? For Missile? Okay, I'll give it a shot. Uh, next time Missile is up. No, that's not it. My dad... He's going to die! And it's all because of me. Oh, maybe Detective... Maybe she's Detective Jowd's daughter. And he shot his wife in front of her. I think that's what's going on. That's my guess right now. What? What do you mean because of me? Why would you say that? It's called an execution. My dad is... A detective. Called it. No way. Don't tell me your father is... Detective Jowd? That, that's right. What in the world? Five years ago, something really bad happened. Like a scary dream, but it wasn't a dream. Five years ago, that murder case. It was mom's birthday that day. My mom and dad were working, and I was home by myself. Oh yeah, the music. Music is great in this game. Really good soundtrack, gotta say. And then I had an idea. I was going to surprise my mom. I set up that contraption. What? Well, like a Rube Goldberg machine? I'm home, Camilla. Why is it dark? I thought she raped the corpse. Yeah, this is the exact same... No, oh, it's not. Well, it's pretty close to what the Rube Goldberg machine... Yeah, it is this! It's exactly the same Rube Goldberg machine that was in that basement that shot Lynn, too. Why would she do that? Why would she make a machine that would shoot her mom? Oh, and then her dad took the blame for it. I get it now. Yeah, this game is a bit messed up. So she wanted to surprise your mom by shooting her? Of Minnesota voice. Oh, what was that noise? 
I still can't believe it happened. It wasn't supposed to work like that. So I wonder what the the um, the super uh, the super's office has to do with this, because he has a replica of it. That's on. Hmm, I know the contraption. She didn't want to shoot her. Are you sure? <laughs> Uh, the burning of all the strings on the machine is fucking genius. Uh, yeah, it's true. Because also, it's it's harder probably to find evidence later of what exactly happened. I know how it was supposed to work. Potty poppers and a cake. A birthday message. Oh, so maybe the the gun was there by accident and she and it was loaded by accident. What the fuck? My dad told me not to tell anybody. Just leave it to me, he said. Might, well, it's not that you can't get caught. They might notice the ash or something from the, the burning strings. And, and, and like, see that there's a fire source and, like, add two and two together. So you're not completely safe, but it's, it's something. It's a nice measure. My dad wanted to be executed. He asked them for it. But I wanted to tell everybody it was my fault. My, my dad said what I saw was a bad dream. He told me to forget it. Oh yeah, he told her that he shot her mom instead. That's so much better. So, also unbelievably tragic. I can't believe it. This little lady is Detective Jout's daughter? And it makes sense that then she'll move with, uh, with Lin, because uh, she adores Detective Jout and uh, she probably wants to help him. I just can't tell her. I can't tell her why she was kidnapped. Why was I kidnapped? I want to know! Oops. There are no secrets in the ghost world. Maybe we better stop talking. It's too dangerous. S sissy you, you're not going to, to talk to me anymore I think we'd better get you out of here first we can talk more after that uh, okay but, but, but I'm going to rescue you now you just hold on a little longer all right uh, okay but but we'll talk later right should have put the Rube Goldberg machine in prison. They should have like made the execution work with the Rube Goldberg machine. Oh, DBK or DBN? Long time, my man. Good to have you. She's talking about me. D don't forget, you promised, sissy. I love to pretend to call myself sissy in a third person, back country. Okay, so now we know everything with her. Camilla, yeah, Camilla is pretty cute. What took you so long? I traveled the entire town in search of the finest bread and milk for you, my dear. Haha, <laughs> is Snor still here? I don't think he's still here, uh... Silent. You could try and, uh, I don't know, page him or something. On, uh... Steam, maybe? I don't know. Maybe on Steam or on, uh, Skype. <laughs> but it's late, and all the shops are closed. We're leaving this place right now. What? But he's not here yet. If we couldn't meet at the restaurant, were we supposed to meet here? Yes, and he's the one who chose this location. She's chilling in that briefcase, though. Yep, she she she's got a sweet deal going on. <laughs> I don't like this one bit. We have to, well, he has a wife to take after now, uh, DBK, and uh, Backcountry, you know, that's gonna take some time off uh, the streaming. We have to run around doing all this extra work, all for the sake of his deal. Be quiet. It can't be helped. This place is too dangerous. I told you, my sixth sense is very strong. Uh, daughter, no, she's 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 not born yet, isn't she? 
You also like to chill in briefcases, Joe. Um, pick story didn't happen, dude. Anyway, I think Snorfax is a uh, baby isn't born yet. All right, as you wish, beauty. I feel it. I sense something here in this little. So now we know that, uh, well, we can go to... Is somebody there? Can you hear me? <gasps> Is she talking to me? I can sense your presence, you know. The next time I sense you, this child will die. Remember that. Alright, we're leaving. Why, just back into the suitcase? Pardon me, little lady. Just go in there. Okay. I guess that works. All of a sudden, I'm left behind alone. Alone in the room that stole the little lady's smile five years ago. The little lady is gone now, leaving me with only a few new facts. I told you, I told you guys, it's just brute force. You just gotta force them into the, the briefcase and they'll, they'll just go, it'll just work by itself. It'll just work out. Uh, the little lady is gone, is gone now, leaving me with only a few new facts. A very and a few very heavy, very sad facts. Does Lynn know about all this? One of the things stands out in my mind. I can sense your presence. With some of that kidnapper's final words. Do those two know? Do the kidnappers know about the powers of the dead? Okay, we'll save. Uh, we got like uh, 50 more minutes to the stream, so we'll, we'll do that. Let's save and continue playing. 12.25. Looks like the kidnappers made a big mistake. The girl in the trunk was Detective Jowd's daughter, Camilla, not the minister's daughter. When I got back to the Justice Minister's office, things were getting even more out of hand. The devastated man was being grilled by the fiery detective lady. I told Len what I had found out about the kidnapping, that it wasn't the Justice Minister's daughter who had been abducted. That the kidnappers had been holed up in Camilla's old house, and that they sensed my presence and were already gone. But, Camilla? Why do they have Camilla? Her father isn't the stupid old justice minister? I think the stupid old part is a little uncalled for. It looks like the kidnappers made a mistake somehow. The poor girl kidnapped for the ransom of her own father's execution. It's just too much. It's a cruel twist of fate, I agree. And there are those other twists, too. Why is everybody the Alex? I don't know, DBK. Uh, maybe he died or something? I don't know. Probably not, though. Uh, like the kidnappers is winding up... The kidnappers winding up... Winding up in and using Camilla's old house as their hideout. There's no way it could be just coincidence. And them sensing my presence. They seem to know about the powers of the dead. I just don't understand any of it. I told you before, detective. I want you to stand back. Who cares about this about distance in a time like this? Look, Mr. Minister, it wasn't your daughter that was kidnapped. Don't try to pretend you didn't hear what we were just saying. Roar. How, how can you believe how can I believe it to you? I, I'm a realist. Please! 
If you don't believe what we say, see for yourself. Just call home and... I tried calling a hundred times. My wife won't answer. She won't? It's complicated. Oh, why does life have to be such a complicated thing? But if she doesn't answer, doesn't that mean everything's normal? It doesn't prove it. And I'm being watched. I can't have the police go check for me. Besides, if the execution isn't carried out tonight, the hostage will be killed. What difference does it make if it's not my daughter? <gasps> Hooey, that's quite a pickle, Mr. Minister. Quite a pickle. Miss me, baby? Inspector Cabanella. I have a little report for you, Mr. Minister. Yeah, that's what I thought, Gecko. The escaped prisoner has been apprehended. Thought you might like to see him, so here he is. Oh, this is actually good if he's here. Detective Jowd? Detective Jowd, I'm so sorry. I tried. Minnesota voice. I think I remember the Minnesota accent. Let's see. I know that you're innocent. I just can't prove it. I'm so sorry. Oh, Lane. Please, don't apologize to me. Ah, the beautiful love between a teacher and student. It brings a tear to my eye. Check time. Okay, let's see what's going on. Lynn doesn't really know that Jout is innocent. She just believes it from the bottom of her heart. The execution and the kidnapping are real threats. Time marches on. I'll gather information and see if I can think of something. This all relates back to me somehow. I just know it. What are they saying? You knew, didn't you, Inspector Cabanella? That the execution was tonight. I don't believe I had any obligation to tell you. And you're fine with this? I mean, you know as well as I do. Detective John could never have done such a thing. <laughs> oh, come on now, baby. I know no such thing. Huh? I know two things to be true, and two things only. One, he was given the death penalty. And two, he tried to escape. What else could I do but haul him in, baby? If that's the case... Okay, Lynn makes you want to get a redhead girlfriend? Uh, go for it, man. Go to, I don't know, a redhead colony or something, and buy one. Why did you bring him here? Whatever do you mean, young lady? He escaped from prison, right? So why didn't you just take him back to the prison? I think you only brought him here. To brag about your accomplishment, isn't that right, Inspector? For your own selfish reasons? So are all those rumors about you true? That the only thing you care about is a spotless record? Is that more important to you than saving a friend? Everybody has certain principles they can go back on. Including me. You'll understand that someday, baby. That's enough, Lynn, I think. Oh, no, that's he said. Ooh, that's enough, Lynn. But, Detective Jowd... I'm a death row inmate who escaped from prison. This is how it should be. But... 
Okay, things are getting pretty hairy. Uh, well, I know what we need to do. What we need to do to solve this whole thing is... I think we should go to the Red Lady's apartment and try and find out if uh, his daughter is there or not. Maybe I should talk to them first? Hold on, I'll try to talk to them first. Just to make sure. My poor Emily. Is she alright? Actually, the girl was kidnapped. His name Camilla. Why is it dream talking to me in my head again? Wait a minute. Emily? Could that be the Emily next door? Yes, I think so. Wow. I didn't know the Justice Minister lived next door. No, not me. My wife. It's uh, complicated. Yeah, I bet it would be pretty hard to admit she left him. The minister's wife ran away on him? Maybe they grew apart, but what with him being so busy? Yeah, I bet you're right. Please stop gossiping about me inside my own head. Okay, so that's one. Let's see what we can say to Lynn. According to what I heard, Emily was supposed to go to some sort of lesson tonight. Those horrible kidnappers, they were lying in wait for her. But Emily didn't go out after all, she couldn't. She had a fever. Huh, and so the kidnappers grabbed Camilla by mistake instead? Apparently, Amelia, Emily and Camilla are about the same age. The kidnappers must have gotten the two of them mixed up. It's my fault. If I hadn't asked Camilla to do that errand for me, this never would have happened. Oh right, you asked her to bring the music box. Camilla. Okay, and uh, what does the detective have to say if I can reach him? A spear? Are they carrying spears? Hold on. I can't believe the guards are carrying spears, holy shit. So, Mr. Ghost, to we meet again. I hear something happened. Something about a kidnapping? Some kidnappers are saying they abducted the Justice Minister's daughter. Oh, that's terrible, gosh darn it. What's their demand? The carrying out of your execution. Tonight. <laughs> Ooh, I had no idea I was so hated. But the minister doesn't have to worry. I die and it's all over. Very simple. It's not that simple. Why not? Because it isn't really the minister's daughter who got kidnapped. It's Camilla. <gasps> what? Camilla? I check it out for myself. I'm positive. Oh no! It can't be! And, by the way, Camilla told me something interesting. She told me the one who killed her mother five years ago was Camilla herself. What? What are you talking about? Oh, don't listen to him! I'm the one who shot her! I'm the one who shot Alma! Oh, and when I'm executed tonight, that'll be the end of it. Oh, Camilla, we won't have to suffer anymore after tonight. For a capable detective, you say some incredibly misguided things. <gasps> You're di you dying is going to end the gir that girl's suffering. I'll just bring her a, a new suffering. The only person's pain this execution is going to ease is yours. <gasps> is it true? What Camilla said? Why don't you tell us what you know? Well, to be honest, I still don't understand what happened that day. It was my wife's, Alma's birthday. We came home from work and she went in first. Back. They should execute the Rube Goldberg machine. What were you talking? Oh, the machine. Yeah, the machine technically killed her. Oh, I looked for the shooter, but there was nobody to be found. There was nobody there besides Alma and Camilla, just the two of them. So the little lady's mother died right in front of her. Oh my, that's so horrible. 
Camilla told me about it. She was crying. She said the contraption she made did something it wasn't supposed to. It made an impossible move. An impossible move? Oh my god, maybe another ghost did it. And that's her nemesis. But that was five years ago and the ghost is supposed to die over the night. I don't know, this is weird. But it sounds definitely like there's something unnatural going on here. It's been five years since then. I stopped thinking about it. I shot Alma. There's no other explanation. That's what I'd convinced everyone of. Even me. Oh, but tonight you showed up and gave me an explanation I never would have thought of before. The powers of the dead, right? That day, in that room, the powers I didn't understand were at work. And if that's the case, it clears all up all the mysteries. Maybe not all. There are a couple of other people who know about those powers. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? I can sense your presence, you know. The kidnappers who abducted, who abducted Camilla knew about those powers. Oh, this is no ordinary kidnapping. It looks like my wife's case isn't coming to an end after all. I'm the only one who thought it was. Detective Jow? There's still some time before dawn. A little, anyway. How about you see this case through to the end before you die? Camille was quite a little girl, but she was good with her hands. She was a little genius at making elaborate toys and contraptions. But there were two very strange points about that contraption. The first was, of course, the firing of that gun. Right. There was an antique gun I've had on display for years. So it wasn't part of the little lady's original design. Of course it wasn't. It was supposed to be a surprise for her mother's birthday. I still don't get how this ties in with the superintendent's thing. Uh, near the junkyard. It's really weird. And the other strange point was the movement of that Cupid. Cupid? Yeah, same as uh, at the super's office. It was supposed to shoot its arrow without turning around. Somebody made a change to the contraption design and then manipulated it. Oh, this would be terrible if it was real. Imagine being a little kid and thinking you're going to surprise your mom and then end up shooting her on her birthday. I don't know what to say. I didn't have time to think things through then. All I knew was I had to protect Camilla. Oh, I made a smaller adjustment to the scene and turned myself in. Kind of adjustment. The gun, of course. The gun, eh? Come to think of it. There was no gun there, just a picture hanging on the wall. Oh, of course not, because they secretly switched the gun out of that frame with a picture. I didn't believe what she told me about her contraption, but one thing was for certain. That gun was still smoking. So that gun really did shoot Alma? I hid the gun before I went to the police. You hid it? I put it in a wooden box and gave it to a certain detective. What? You mean? And that detective still thinks it's a music box. So that's what was in the box, huh? Oh, I got a different murder weapon ready to give to the police. My own pistol. And I did a few other things to make it look good. I won't go into the details. When that was all done, I, I turned myself in. And we're done here, I guess. 
This shit is pretty crazy. Detective Down, is what you t just is what you just told us is what you told us just now true? Oh gosh, yes, of course. In that case, there's still time. Oh, still time? Time to solve the case that started five years ago. You didn't do it, Detective Jown. And, of course, little Camilla didn't do it either. So the true perpetrator is still out there. And I'm going to prove it. For Camilla's sake. That sounds wonderful. Thank you, Detective Jowd. Lynn, where is that music box now? In Tipsick Park. Camilla left it there. Oh, that gun is important evidence. You'd better go pick it up. Oh, definitely BBK. The animation here is, is I mean, my computer can't really uh, take the, the, the CPU part that the emulator needs. But the animation here is really good and uh, unique. Yes, sir. I'll go right now. Uh, no you won't, because you're being detained, aren't you? Sis, I'll take care of Detective Jown. And do something about the kidnapping, so we can get the Minister on our side. And yet again, I say, easy enough for you to say. What, you just let her go? Isn't she, like, wanted for murder? What's going on? Tell me the deal, Mr. Death Row Inmate. A little change in plans. My daughter has been kidnapped. I can't just go off to die without doing something. But you're in our custody, don't forget. Back at the prison, everybody's waiting for you. With a special seat just for you, baby. Well, then I guess we'd better prove my innocence on the double. On the double, is it? You sound so determined, my old friend. I want to save Camilla in more ways than one. And that's all there is to it. I see, my old friend, in more ways than one. What say you, Mr. Minister? May we have your decision? Should the execution be carried out tonight, as planned? Or should we hold off and wait for this important evidence to come in? The order still stands. Bring the prisoner back immediately and resume its enforcement. As you wish, Your Excellency. Please don't bow down to me. And especially not that low. In that case, can I have one of your boys arrange a prison van to pick him up? Would you be so kind? Yes, sir. The van should take about 10 minutes, I'm guessing. Your escape tonight was brilliant. Please show me another miracle in these last few minutes of yours, Mr. Death Row Inmate. Check time. Actually, I think uh, that's enough for now. Uh, it's been two hours. Um, uh, the, there's been lots of talking tonight, lots of voices and less puzzles. Uh, so I think I'm going to be... So I think this is enough for now. I'm going to save right here. We'll keep on from right here. I thought it would be the end of the chapter, but apparently not. So we'll save here, and we'll keep going. Uh, even though the schedule says I'm not on for tomorrow, uh, I am, because something changed. So I won't be streaming on Wednesday. I will be streaming tomorrow. So I'd love to see... Thank you all for uh, uh, playing with me and uh, having fun with me. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll post. The, I'll update the schedule in a couple minutes. Uh, so you can check in like 20, 30 minutes and see. Um... What else? I'll remind you guys that, again that you can request games or vote for requested games so I can play them sooner uh, tomorrow. And 
Also, oh, and I'd really appreciate it as usual if, if you could uh, either tell people about my stream or just follow me on uh, uh, Twitch, Twitter, Steam, YouTube, whatever is convenient. Uh, that could really, really help me and really appreciate it. So thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. So bye-bye, Marco.